Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Spirit's Path. And this is your September horoscope for 2021. And just to recap what's happened this year so far, this is your The Ancestor. All right, everybody's got this card. You're listening to your own universal beat, uh, walking your own, your own path, but you're dedicated. You know, you walked through those birch trees and you started on your path. A path that started out in January of clearing things out with a seven of bows and clearance. Page of bows showed up, that lynx showed up, and uh, a page of stones showed up in uh, February. And, you know, ask, you know, what, what can you learn from that situation of clearing things out in January? You know, what daddy do you need to make a good decision? And because of the clearing out, all right, and, uh, you know, what you learn from that is others could be jealous of you, and they were putting blessings upon you. And, you know, that was represented in March by that three of arrows, um, jealousy. April, the queen, of, the queen of Stones showed up. You know, so you had the Page of Bows and the uh, Page of Stones and the Queen of Stones, you know, in the first four months. And, you know, she's asking, where do you need to make space, you know, for yourself as well as others? And that's, you know, started in January with clearing things out, right? The other thing she asked is, you know, what needs to be preserved? Okay. Um, you know, if, if you're learning from that situation, you know what to, you know, throw out, you know what to keep right you know what to protect you know what to to not protect and you know that was going off of you know that arrows energy right may sagittarius it seemed like you were being exploited um maybe you weren't using your resources right um maybe a misuse of resources or maybe you know you've seen how other people weren't using their resources correctly as you were clearing things out as a result you know you kind of felt used right you didn't appreciate that fact but then june came around things started turning around for you five of vessels and ecstasy and you were like you know what i've made so so much good use of my time this month that you know by clearing things out i've learned a lot you know i've been able to protect those things that i need to be, 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 be protect, protected and i don't have to worry about people being jealous of me all right because i got rid of this and i got rid of that and uh, you know what? Those people that don't agree with my thinking, I don't need them in my life. You know, I don't have to worry about being exploited, right? And this is a great revelation because you were just like, you know what? I'm on top of the world. I'm loving, you know, exactly what's going on. July came around and it was about instruction. Maybe, maybe you were the student in this process. Maybe you were the teacher in this process. Maybe somebody wants to learn from you on this clearing out process as, as you're going through life, you know, on this journey, Sagittarius. So you took the time in July to show others, you know, what it is that you're doing to create, you know, to manifest, um, you know, what happened for you in August, which was joy, three of vessels, right? So, you know, yeah, the, the year started out kind of rocky for you, but, you know, as you cleared things out, maybe you're making money off of that, putting it on, you know, Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Craigslist, however you're doing it. And maybe things are starting to, you know, come to fruition for you. And you're starting to find that joy. And yet maybe this is a side hustle for you, Sagittarius. You know, maybe something you can, you know, earn a few bucks to the side. So, you know, let's see what the theme is for you in September as you're coming off this joyful month of August. And the card that comes out is that Queen of Arrows and the Swan. All right, so, you know, here you've got this joy, you've got this side hustle going on. And, uh, you know, the Queen shows up and, you know, she says, you know, what do you need to uh, ask for, you know, help for? And, you know, she's looking at it and she's saying, you know what, we're going to transition from this, this river to this river to this pond to this lake. You know, however, however it is, you know, to go. And, you know, the, the three of vessels joy is leading you down this road. Okay, now she's also asking is, you know, what straightforward approach do you need as you're moving forward? What help do you need to ask for? And what's, what's that straightforward approach? Well, let's find out. Let's find out in the next, you know, for the weeks as we, you know, that's the theme for the month. That queen, that nurturing of uh, thought process, that nurturing of logic and reasoning right and that first week is going to be represented 
by the stag. As, as you are transitioning from one lake, from, from this joy state, using this queen, all right, you're gonna look at, you know, where, where can I be justified in my actions? Where can I be just, you know, justified in doing what I need to do? All right, because I want to protect. You've got the the shield of the world tree protecting you, okay? And you know the stag is going to. Um, the way I like to you know to talk about him is you know if you cut down a tree, he's going to be right there to make sure you plant another tree within the forest. Okay, so for every action, there's an there's a reaction. For every reaction, there's an action. Let's say. So with the queen of arrows, and she's you know where do you what help do you need to ask for? It's taking it out of your characteristic, Sagittarius. Actually, it's not. It's, it's in your characteristic because you're bold and, and boisterous. Okay, you, you, you say things the way they need to be said. And you're going to ask for that help. And somebody may, you know, somebody may say, nope, I don't want to help you. But you're going to show them. You're going to show them how they're going to help you. And they may not even realize it. Okay, because you're going to ask them for that help. And as a result of that, you know, they're going to look at that and say, you know what? So-and-so's helped me in the past. She's asked for my help. I'm going to help her in whatever that transition is, right? And then whatever that nurturing aspect of that thought process, right? That logic and that reasoning. The second week is represented by the Four of Bows celebration. Okay. The third week, Sagittarius. Is the seven of stones and healing hmm and in that fourth week two of vessels attraction okay so normally i talk about each card and how it relates to that queen of arrows but i, I went through these you know pretty quick so again what help do you need to ask for you need help in asking for you know, whatever it is that transition is that queen wants you to do. That thought process. For every action, there's a reaction. Okay? And it's going to be a straightforward approach for you, which is really not an issue with you, Sagittarius, because you're a pretty straightforward person. So you're going to be talking to people on bending them to your will. All right? To help you transition from joy, okay, going into October and we will see what that is coming up at the end of this month in September all right knowing that you know you're going to be justified knowing that you're finding justice and you're asking the right people in that second week you're going to have that four of bows celebration show up and you're going to celebrate it with others you're going to celebrate it with your family you're going to celebrate it with your loved one okay but again it's it's what help do you need to ask for to get to the celebration? Don't put the celebration all upon you. Have this be a potluck. You know, hey, let's celebrate this aspect of, of you know, um, you know, community service, right? And let's all come together and, and celebrate, right? You know, um, you know, A through L, you know, they're going to bring fruits and vegetables, and M through P Z are going to bring you know meats and bread. You know, figure it out. You know, celebrate that aspect. But you're asking for that help along the way, right? And you're straightforward. You may just say, you know, let's just say there's 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 five of you. All right? And you want, guys want to celebrate. Okay, guys, this is what we're going to do. We are meeting at, you know, uh, 281 Rivercrest Drive. And, you know, uh, Bill, you're bringing the meat. And Joe, you're bringing the buns. And, you know, Greg, you're bringing... Uh, you know, the beverages. And, you know, Steve, you're bringing the condiments. You know, bringing some potato salad. You know, you're asking for their help, but you're also being straightforward in that approach. You know, and, help, you know, it's, it's just not the guys. Bring your wives. Bring the kids. We're going to have a party. But, you know, I'll provide the place. You guys have to provide the meals, right? That's that justified approach with everything that you're doing. The third week is going to be about that seven of stones and healing. healing of relationships, 
healing of yourself, getting back to who you are, Sagittarius, all right? Because even though you've cleared things out throughout the year, you know, at the beginning of the year, maybe you stepped away from who you are, all right? By not being taking that straightforward approach. Take that straightforward approach in healing yourself. Go for that massage. Instead of giving massages out for everybody else, right, if you're a masseuse, go for one yourself. Take that time to, you know, step away and revig reinvigorate, rejuvenate your soul. Re revitalize your, your own health, right? Heal yourself. And maybe you need to ask help for that. You know, how do I get back into a nutritional balance? Talk to a nutritionalist. You need to ask for that help. You know, what's that straightforward approach? Well, I'm going to talk to, I'm going to talk to Bill because Bill is bringing, you know, the food or whoever it was I had bringing the food, you know, because he's a nutritionist. He's bringing healthy stuff. All right. So you, you're going to ask for that help, but you're going to, you're going to go straight to the source to help you out, Sagittarius. And what that's going to do is at the end of the month, as you're asking for that help, you're going to attract, you're going to attract, uh, you know, vessels is about motion. All right, you're going to attract, I don't want to say you're going to attract new love, but, you know, maybe there is a new love. Maybe it's, maybe it's that love of, you know what, I'm going to lose 13, 15 pounds. Right, you're going to attract that. And that's, you know, that's, a, that's an aspect of going back and, you know, going through the healing process. All right. But you're going to, you know, you're going to ask, you know, how can I, how can I attract, you know, losing that, that weight? What's that straightforward approach in attracting, you know, what it is that I want, All right? And that's a, you know, that's what this card stands for. This two of vessels. It's it's more of about a desire, a desire being met. Because the forest lovers is is more of a, a attracting somebody else. But you know, the two of vessels and attraction, it doesn't have to be vessels energy. It could be create creative energy. It could be material energy. You know, it could be you know thought energy, right? The, the key is, and you've got all four, you know, elements represented. Attract what you want to attract. You know, ask, you have to ask yourself, you know, what is it that I desire? What is it that I want? You know, and then go about and figure out what that is. You know, because you've, you've healed yourself in the third week. You know, and be straightforward in that approach as you're going forward to attract whatever it is you need to attract. And that's what that queen of vessel and the queen of arrows, the swan represents. So that's your September horoscope, Sagittarius. Hit your like button for me, subscribe to the channel and share it with others. This is D for Spirit's Path and we'll talk to you in October. Take care, God bless and stay safe everybody.